Okay guys, we are back. We have YN mentor Melissa Delacruz here in the house to share some inspiration that can be kind of hard. I mean, got yeah. a holiday coming up and green is kind of the color, right? Yeah, St. Patty's Day's green, golds, um, rainbows. Yeah. It may not be the color that you <laughs> normally would grab out of your uh, color collection, so. Let's try to make it fashionable to where you could enjoy wearing it. I like if it. you're not really a green person or a gold person. I like it, let's do it. Hi, today I'm gonna to show you some inspiration for St. Patty's Day. So it should be super fun, let's get started. So as you can see, I already prepped her nails. Um, I just need to form them. I really wanted to form them on camera because Tracy has what's very common on people's nails is different shaped nails. She has round nail beds and then she has a square nail bed. How do you know how to form those? So I'm gonna form the three. So this one should go on pretty well. See how it's rounded here and her nail bed is rounded? This should go on very easy. Secure your sides. Pre-pinch. Sometimes I pre-pinch, sometimes I don't. For some reason lately I have been. It's just easy for me to rock it on her fingernail. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is take my tab, cut alongside the YN, kind of where the brackets are right there. Put it right behind it. So I'm creating a square nail, nail form to fit her square nail bed right here. So as you can see right here in the middle, it's touching the middle of her nail. That's really what you need it to do is make sure it connects here. A lot of people think that the form needs to touch the sidewall the corners, it does not. What it needs to do is have a clearance here where there's nothing going to um, kind of have a bump or anything, it just needs to be clean. So if I show you with the file from the side, you could see that it's going to come out straight. There's nothing buckling right here to obstruct the product from going up or even a lip down. So a lot of times I take my file, let me show you one more time, and this helps me know that it's going to be straight. Sometimes I protein bomb before I form. I didn't in this case, no big deal. You could always do it after. So I'm gonna put one coat on the three nails I'm doing and then come through and put one more coat on the entire nail. Okay, so I'm gonna do three different designs and I'm going to encapsulate them all. So we'll start with the first one. So here's our clear sculptor. What I love about Clear Sculptor, it's a thicker consistency. You could actually see when we used it last. What I love about this is you could literally build out all your extensions at once and not have to flash that anything. It stays where you put it. So I'm gonna start right here. I like to get my product in front of my brush and then bring it over to the side, touching her sidewall, connecting it, stop my movement here and bring it down lightly touching my gel, extending it all the way. I think I'm gonna go a little past my pinch because I'm gonna go a little more stiletto. Okay, let's go on to the next one. Go ahead and repeat my process. You notice I work from my left to my right. I have a habit of doing my left side first and it's because my right hand is dominant and it's harder for me to get my stuff to the left when there's a little product left. So I have a habit of taking care of my non-dominant side first so I make sure I have enough product there. It's just a little trick I do for myself. Okay, let's extend our third one. Okay. So you could see I need a little more product there. I'll get it off my brush and then bring it down. Now, clear sculptor could be hard to see because it is clear. 
if you move it a little, you'll see the reflection and see where you need to add. So let me show you real quick. Like it's kind of hard to see right there. When I let the line sh light shine on it, it kind of glistens and you could see where you're missing. Okay, from here, clean my brush. I like to make it kind of flat, make sure my sides are clean. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to flash set her for 30 seconds in the light. Okay, once she comes out, I'm gonna base her entire nail and connect it to the free edge with base. I'm gonna get it on all three, and then I'll show you what I do after I get it on all three. I could already see a spot that I wanna show you that I will add a little more base there so it'll be like a clean slate. Right here's a little low and right here is a little low. So what I'm going to do is take a little base, come right here, melt it in. See how I'm floating it? Do the same right here. And all this is doing is making sure that it's gonna be more of a flat surface. Okay, so I'm gonna cure for 30 seconds. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is take off her forms I mean, it's a really good thing to know that you could actually build your extension with any gel that um, you prefer. Um, if you're gonna do like a clear nail, some of these are gonna be see-through. I always go to Clear Sculptor. It's just very fast, very easy. It's a little thicker consistency than base. Base is a little thinner. So it will work, but just know you may have to, the amount you have to put on there will cause like a little heat spike. Um, so we get a lot of people asking, if you can build the whole body of the nail, like everything, like out encapsulation, of it just built the whole nail out of base gel. Oh, okay. You can, but you may never see your client again. <laughs> <laughs> it will get so hot. Um, base is made to go, to wear really thin. It's made to anchor on your, like weave itself in its nail and anchor itself on whatever you put on top of it. It's not made to build. Um, however, one time I did my own nails before a show and I grabbed two base, so I had to build them in base. It burned like crazy. They were amazing, just as amazing as build, but I do not suggest it. It's meant for just base. Got it, thank you. Yeah. You're welcome. I'll never forget that time. It was torture. So I'm just gonna trim my sides with the straight edge, just a little. The reason why I like to get my side is gel runs a lot. If this is acrylic, I wouldn't really care. So some of it doesn't need it. Oh, sorry. You're okay. You're trying to help me. <laughs> sorry, I'll look away. Bad client. <laughs> okay, just a little. So I will take, I'll take my clear sculptor. I don't know where my little tab is, but that's okay. If I was building with it, I would make sure I had my little tab that brings it down. And the reason being that eliminates bubbles. So when I'm doing art with it, it really doesn't matter. So I'm gonna make two colors. This is plenty for a full set. Okay, so my first one, I'm gonna do a combination of greens. I'm gonna do incredible green, apple green, and emerald green. So the first color I'm gonna put down is emerald green. This is one of our illumination colors. Let's go ahead and cover the entire gel. Then let's go into apple. Apple's gonna kind of glow a little gold through it. It's gonna be really pretty, like a gold light coming through it. Then I'm gonna send it to a little bit more of a bright theme. So I'll use a little bit of, a little bit of incredible green. Let's also mix this one since I'm in the process. So this is dark gold. I love gold, it's such a pretty color. Okay, then let's use some hologram and this will give it a little holographic effect, kind of a rainbow effect inside of it. 
first I'm going to mix my green one. And I don't want it really firm. I kind of want it to be able to drizzle a little over the nail. So let's see what it's four minutes in. Oh yeah, that's actually perfect. So you could see it, it moves real easy. It's not super thick. You can see the gold color coming out of it. Now let's mix the gold. I think I want to add a tad bit more hologram in that. I want a little more of a glitter effect in there. Or not glitter, it is glitter, holographic effect. Kind of like a rainbow. Okay, so here's my two colors I'm going to use. Now I'm gonna make a little, a few more mixes for like a rainbow. So clean this up. Let me bring out all my mission controls. Okay, so the first one I wanna make a purple. So I'm gonna take Mega Jam. Let's take a little bit of Mega Jam out and a little bit of Orbit. So Orbit and Mega Jam will make a purple. I think I want to do like half the amount of blue as I did the pink to see what purple this creates. Oh, I like this purple. So I did like half the amount of um, Orbit inside of Mega Jam. Okay, when I'm gonna make a lot of colors, what I'll do is kind of clean around it just so I could fit as many colors as I want on here. It doesn't have to be totally clean. It ju you just don't want it to dominate every area you're using because you don't want them to mix into each other. Let's do, I, might, I may not custom mix these ones. They're pretty bright and I like them. So I'll take out teaser. And it is easier when you're working with a lot of colors to work on your palette. Okay, a little bit of solar. It's a tad bit of green. This is called Giant. A little bit of Overdrive. And a little bit of Fizz. I think that creates a pretty um, rainbow effect, but I'm gonna add one more Aura. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do a little extra step. I am going to kind of camouflage the background of her nail. Her nail looks nice, she has very healthy nails. I just don't wanna see much of her natural nail because I want some clear spots. So I'm gonna take my concealer pink. So I'm taking a little concealer pink and kind of covering her nail. Doesn't have to be perfect, but as you could see, it kind of does camouflage and look really nice. Anytime I do a nude nail that shows the natural nail, this just gives it like a flawless effect. I put just a very little kind of conceals the look of it. It's kind of like what we do to our face when we wear makeup. <laughs> a little bit of concealer here and there. Okay, once I complete all three of these, I'm just gonna flash set it for like 30 seconds. Okay, so from here, I'm just gonna use my imagination and kind of lay it down wherever I think will look good. I think I'm gonna kind of drizzle this. You could see I'm just kind of trailing it. I could always add more if I want. I think I'm gonna add a little bit of thickness through here. Maybe I'll bring it down a little more right here. Oh, that looks pretty cool. Once you have it where you want it, Go ahead and flash set it for like about 30 seconds. Um, 20 is even enough pretty much because you're gonna go on to the next one. All it's doing is just stopping it from moving it. It's not fully curing it. Okay, when I'm gonna go on to my next one, I'll just clean my little brush, go into my gold. And my gold, I think I'm gonna do it just a little different. So I think I'll come in through here. So there's no right or wrong way. All I'm doing is just creating kind of a, 
a look and I want it to look raised so that's why I'm putting it up so high. It's going to create a dimensional effect. Right here it kind of moved a little because it's a little, has kind of more clear gel in it. So it will move on you a little. Go ahead and clean your slide. You could use an orange wood stick or your long nails if you have one. Okay, so let's go ahead and flash set this one. Okay, my next one I think I'm gonna do a full coverage of the gold. So I don't wanna build body with it. I just wanna cover her entire nail with the color that I'm using, the gold mixture. So light touch, just bringing it down. Could even polish it from this point. The coverage is really good because I put a lot of glitter in it. Get as close to the cuticle as you can. Okay, once you finish cleaning up your sides, go under for about 30 seconds. Okay, so my next step, I'm gonna use all my little mixes here. Let me get my brushes I want. I think I'm gonna use the detailer a lot. The micro detailer. I'm going to use Aura. What I'm gonna do is just trail this with Aura. Put a little bit on my nail. And as you could see, um, Mission Control pretty much stays where you put it. So you could take the time you need for this. All I'm doing is just accenting, accenting it with the gold color aura. It's looking pretty cool. Green and gold look really rich together. I think right here what I wanna do is kinda bring it in a little more. Actually, there's a little glitter left behind. That kind of looks cool. Actually, I kind of want to do that to some of them. See how you figure things out as you go? <laughs> Could always change it up a little. Okay, I kind of like the way this looks. So I'm gonna go ahead and flash this. Okay, on this next one, I think what I'm gonna do is probably this corner. I'm going to put on overdrive right here. Kind of butt it up. Let me trail it first so I could see it better where it meets. Yeah, it looks better once I do this. I really like the way the black looks up against the gold. So this one won't be see-through, but you'll be able to see underneath it. It'll look really cool from underneath. Okay, once I have the look I like, I'm gonna flash set her for 30 seconds. Okay, so from here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my base gel. I got a different brush because I used my other brush with black, so I'm just putting a little gel in it so it'll move a little easier for me. It's a brand new brush. Okay, take my base, and I'm only gonna put it over my black. So I'm going to add on top of it. Okay, so I'm going to take some Party Ninja and Decked Out, that's what I thought it was. Decked Out and Party Ninja. And I'm gonna mix these up just on the free edge. This is kind of a, it's a Mylar that's more of a, a finer chunk. It facets really pretty. And then these are just little slivers that will glow like a rainbow effect. So what I'm gonna do is use my little detailer brush. I like to put art on with my detailer brush so it doesn't pick up so much for cases like this. And just kind of put it in spots. See how cool that looks right there already? I'm already feeling the vibes of St. Patty's Day. All I need is a Guinness. So now let's go to Party Ninja. This is gonna create kind of a rainbow effect of facets of different color. Okay, I like the way that looks. Okay, from there I'm gonna cure it 30 seconds. And remember, when she's curing, you're going on the other hand and working, so you really don't have downtime. So um, being that I'm just working on one, I have downtime, but as you're working and on your client, most clients I know have two hands, <laughs> so you're gonna always be working on the other hand. So now on this one, I'm gonna do like a rainbow. The first color I'll start with is my purple. I'm gonna put some on my finger. 
So it's cured gel and it's a sticky, it's sticky on top. So I'm gonna come right here, create like a little rainbow effect. Now hand painting, even though it's not like someone's face, <laughs> it's still, no matter when you're hand painting, um, no matter the amount of detail, does kind of slow your roll. Like it's not as fast as throwing glitter in the nail. I like where that's set. I'm gonna flash this and go from there. So I'll just flash it about, like seriously, 15 seconds. Because all I wanted to do is just sit there. It usually won't work, but being in it's the middle color I'm gonna work off, I kind of want to cure it so I could go off of that. The next color I'll use is um, the orange color, Taser. This effect is really popular right now. You're probably seeing it a lot online. You could do it many different ways. I think it looks really cool encapsulated. Um, you could do it on top as well. It'll just look a little deeper in an encapsulation. I'm gonna go into yellow, which is solar. Let's do yellow next to the purple. So as you could see that the orange is not moving, it pretty much stays where you want it to. The reason why I cured the purple is I didn't want the colors to mix if I went over it a little. You know what, I didn't get the blue out. Let's do a little bit of Orbit. Tad bit of Orbit. I'll just use it out of here so don't, since I didn't put it on there. It'll be fast. I'm gonna do a thinner line of blue. All I'm doing is just tracing. So from here, let's do a green. Okay, from here, I'm gonna use a little bit of green. Let's flash that here real quick, 30 seconds. Okay, I'm gonna take a little overdrive let me kind of put these fingers down so you could see a little better. And I'm gonna kind of go on top of my yellow just so I could kind of detail it a little more. Do a little bit on this side. The black will tie in this right here. It looks really good. Rainbows are so fun to do. Now we'll use a little fizz and we're almost done. Let's kind of use fizz right here. Kind of makes it pop. I think I just want it on that side. That kind of looks really cool. Okay, let's flash set this. Okay, I decided I'm gonna add a little more black here. After I completed the rainbow, I feel like it'll accent it more and kind of tie it all in. I decided I'm gonna add a little black here just a little bit of an accent there, kind of feathering off right here. So now I'll flash set this for about 30 seconds. Okay, once I have everything in there that I'm going to encapsulate and paint, I'm gonna take my base on the ones I use Mission Control on because Mission Control kind of cures kind of smooth. I wanna add base, base holds on very well to it makes it sticky again, so my next layer will hold on very well to it. This is a great tip, especially when you're painting with Mission Control. So I really only have to put it on those. So I'll flash set it 30 more seconds and then I'll start encapsulating them. So now what I'm gonna do now is encapsulate everything with Build Pink. Now as I'm building, I'm just having a soft touch, bringing it from side to side. Now remember, just cover the whole entire nail around the perimeter that you need. Don't worry about your structure yet. So once I have everything on, she's gonna go under the light for 30 seconds to flash set, and I'm gonna work on her other hand. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and encapsulate them all. I feel like St. Patty's Day is a pretty gaudy holiday. So these will speak for the holiday, right? Super fun. OK, 
Okay, once I have it over everything, I think, if it looks like it's moving, I'll just come like this. Kind of get a hold of it, 30 seconds. Okay, once she comes out, I'm gonna go ahead and do my third one. Work it around the cuticle area. And it's easy to bring it down kind of like in a smile line. So you kind of bring it down. If I need to add a little, bring it in here and kind of mesh it in. Bring it down and then fill in your sides. Okay, flash set this for 30 seconds. Now, when I'm teaching this, it seems like there is a lot of steps, but it really doesn't take that long when your client's going back and forth for you. You're always in motion. Um, it seems like with acrylic, you finish one whole nail, then go on to the other usually. That's what we do. Um, gel's a little different. Um, once you get it down, it goes really fast. Okay, as you can see, when you look at them from the top, it may look a little odd shape because when you have high spots, sometimes it'll move crazy. It's very easy to, to file. What's most important is that you have it everywhere you actually need it. When you look at it from the side, I could see let's, this little rainbow one. I need to bring it in a little here, a little bit more here, no big deal. I need a little more through here. Okay, so I need a little more body here and I think that's what it is on all of them. And that's normal for a long nail, maybe a tad bit right there. Let's see, more here. And then from there, I'll final cure them for one minute. So let's start fixing those. So what I do is like, I get it on all my dimensions first and then I come back again and look at it from the side. It just seems to go faster when you're doing the same motion while you're working. So pretty much they all need a little more through here. Okay, let's go to the next one. So here, what I'm gonna do is get it in my little corner. Okay, get a little more here. Now, remember to do a really light touch. If you do a light touch, I'm really not bouncing in my gel. I'm not going like this into my gel. When you bounce on your nail, you're gonna create a lot of air bubbles. So you kind of wanna just go side to side or around. Okay, they look really good. I'm gonna final cure them for one minute. So once they've cured one full minute, I'm gonna go into my swipe, take my lint-free wipes, and remove my dispersion layer. So now I'm gonna file them off camera, finish the set, and come back with the finished results. Okay, so now I completed them, filed them into shape, and what I'm gonna do from here is kind of um, perfect them all. So what I'm going to do is come in with protein bond on all of them. Because I'm actually going to add to a couple of them. Okay, once I protein, protein bond them all, I'm gonna add, I like to use manicure top to the ones I'm gonna add gives it kind of, once I cure it, I like the dispersion layer of it. It's easy to paint on top of. So I'm gonna go ahead and cover them all. And when I add, I'll show you where I'm detailing it. This one I decided I'm gonna take it all the way around with the black, but on top, so it'll give it more dimension as well. This one I'm gonna trill it with black because I decided I'm gonna polish her other nails black. So I think it'll really tie everything in. So 30 seconds under the light. Okay, once I flash set it for 30 seconds, I'm gonna take my overdrive and I'm just gonna detail a little bit. Since I cleaned my tile, I'm gonna go ahead and work out of my pot. Here I'm gonna kind of make my black a little more clean. Okay. This one, I wanna carry it around all the way around. I'm gonna follow through here really cool and then I'm gonna trail the gold so it'll really make it pop with the black it looks really cool on top because it makes the gold look really deep in there okay this looks really cool I kind of like it yeah, it makes it more bold. 
All right, that kind of tied everything in. So I'm gonna flash this for 30 seconds. So now I'm gonna take my, my Go Time polish, it's called Look Don't Touch, and polish the others black. I love the coverage of this color. Go Time has great coverage. You could literally get it in one coat. So what I'll do is get it on and then take my time detailing it right here. You could use two coats of Go Time. It's completely up to you. I'll go ahead and see what it looks like after it comes out of the light. If I think I need to add another, I can. If not, then great. So I'm gonna cure it one full minute. Just because I'm using Go Time, I like to cure it one full minute so I know it's fully cured with a dark color. Um, if I wanna add from there, I can. I may do one more coat, I'll see when it comes out. If not, I'll go st straight into my stain resistant. I like to use stain resistant on top of Go Time because it's a harder gel and it tends to really hold on and wear well. You do not have to wear a top coat with Go Time either. It has a built-in top coat. I like to still put one because I feel like it makes it more bulletproof, like really wears very well. It, if they go like three or four weeks, then they come back with their polish still shiny and wearing well. Okay, once she's out of the light, I'm gonna put one more coat. get really close and detail everything. Okay, one more minute cure. Okay, so from here what I'm gonna do is go into my stain resistant. Like I said, if you don't wanna put one on top of here, you really don't have to. As you can see, it's super shiny. It's totally up to you. Um, I'll go ahead and put one on just because I'm putting stain resistant on all of them. Black isn't going to stain though, so you could get away with not, being that it has a built-in top coat and go time. There we go. So final cure, I'll do two minutes, then that way I know It'll be to a high shine. Okay, so I cured them two minutes. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take two swipe pads. I like two swipe pads because I find with one swipe pad, by the time I get to the third one, it's kind of wiping swipe back on it. Or not swipe, the sticky residue on the others, it's not wiping it well. So I usually do two. Okay, let's go to the other one. I don't have to do that with short nails, I find. I could use one pad per hand, but I find with long, there's so much sticky to take off. It just saves me from going back. And they look dripping wet. They look so good. And from here, I'm gonna put some rose oil on. As you know, rose oil will seep in their skin by the time they get to the car. So it's so nice to put it on. It conditions the cuticles very well. And she's done. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe. Also, if you didn't know, we're on so many other channels. Check us out on TikTok, Instagram, LinkedIn, Facebook, Snapchat, the list goes on. Please, please, please check us out.